Okay, in this video, we are going to look into reading sensors with Bluetooth. Now, normally when we read a sensor using a microcontroller, like the Arduino Uno, we send a sensor value to a display, like an LCD display or an OLED display, so we could view the sensor readings. But we could also use our smartphone to view the sensor readings. Okay, here's the app that I downloaded from the Google Play Store, which is running on my smartphone. Now this app is called Arduino Bluetooth Terminal. Now this app will turn your smartphone into a display. Because your smartphone is always available, it's always handy, and now the sensor value is going to be sent by Bluetooth to your smartphone, so it's wireless, so there's no cables. Now this app can display 10 sensor values, but in my video and in my demo, I'm only going to use three sensors so I'll have three sensor values being displayed on my smartphone. Okay, here's a circuit that I'm going to use to monitor my three sensors and have them displayed on my smartphone. Now the first sensor is internal to the microcontroller. It's an internal temperature sensor on that Mega 320P microcontroller. The second sensor is a potentiometer. So I'm going to feed 0 to 5 volts into channel A0 of the analog to digital converter. And the output will be 0 to 1023. And my last sensor is just a push button switch so I'm going to monitor if it's open or closed. So all I have to do now is add an HC06 Bluetooth module so we can send the data wirelessly by Bluetooth to be displayed on my smartphone. Okay I have my app up and running on my smartphone and you can see I have three labels set up for my three sensors. I have my temperature label, my POT ADC label and my switch label. And each label has a text box associated with each label. Now once we pair to the HC06 Bluetooth module, these text boxes will be filled in with our sensor values. Now this app is capable of setting up 10 sensors. So we could actually display 10 sensors. This is where we set our labels. So if we select one of the sensors, now we can punch in a label name and that will be shown on our main page. So if we go back to our main page, there's our three sensor labels. So we'll pair it to our HC06 Bluetooth module, and then we'll see the readings, our sensor readings, being displayed in the text boxes. Okay, my Bluetooth module is ready to be paired. You can see it's blinking. So we'll pair it. You can see the values there my temperature, my pot ADC value, and my switch value. So I press my switch, you see it goes from closed to open, so it's sensing the operation of the switch. If I adjust my pot, I go from zero, which is zero volts, up to five volts, which is one zero two three, and then back down, so it's monitoring my pot. Now for my temperature, I got some cold spray. I could spray the chip. You can see the temperature dropping. And then she'll warm up and she'll come back up. So it's a little demo of how we could actually monitor three sensors or up to ten sensors using Bluetooth and using your smartphone as a display. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of the circuit that I built in my breadboard. And you can see the Arduino Nano module and the HC06 Bluetooth module. Now the Nano is powered by 8 volts into the VIN pin and the 5 volt regulated output of the Nano is fed up to the 5 volt input to the HC06 Bluetooth module to power the module. Now the TX output, the serial output of the Nano goes through a voltage divider to cut it down to 3.3 volts and that's fed into the RX pin of the Bluetooth module and the TX of the Bluetooth module is fed into the RX of the Nano. Now we have 5 volts across our potentiometer and the wiper is fed into A0, that's channel A0 of the analog to digital converter and we have a push button switch between D2 and ground and we have an internal pull up on D2. So we could vary the pot to get 0 to 5 volts into A0 and that will display 0 to 1023 and we could press our push button switch to give us a close and open indication and then we can heat up or cool the Nano itself to give our temperature output. Okay, the coding for this project is fairly simple. So you could use any microcontroller of your choice and any language of your choice. 
So basically what you do, you read your sensors and you get your sensor values and you send them out the serial port in a string. So you'll have sensor 1 value and then a comma, sensor 2 value and a comma, and sensor 3 value and a semicolon. Now you put a semicolon there because that's the last sensor. So if you had 10 sensors, you put the semicolon after the sensor number 10. So each comma tells the app to jump down to the next text box to enter the sensor value. Now we send this sensor string out the serial port, so out the TX port of the Nano into the Bluetooth module and you just keep sending the string over and over again as you're updating your sensor data and that will be sent into the HC06 Bluetooth module and be transmitted into the app and then the app would format each sensor value into the text boxes. Okay, if you need some more software information, if you go to the info page on the app, it gives you a little write-up on how the code works. And at the very bottom, there's an address for a GitHub where you could actually get some Arduino code.